What's up everybody in YouTube world? Everything that I'm about to say is my opinion and my opinion alone. Please don't listen to me. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Now, got that out the way. Follow me on Twitter, black underscore Inda, and help me to boost this YouTube channel. You know how to do that. Like it if you like it, and go ahead and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Now, let's go ahead and jump right in. The top five reasons that you should own some Bitcoin. First of all, Bitcoin increases its value. Now, there's no way around this. I don't even know who could argue this point. If we look at a chart from about 10 years ago, this chart goes back to 2011-ish. 2010, 2011, somewhere around there, you could buy 20 Bitcoin for a dollar. 20 Bitcoin. 20 Bitcoin. Two zero for a dollar. Today, Bitcoin costs, at the time of recording, it costs about $12,500. So you mean to tell me, 10 years ago, I could have bought 20 Bitcoin for one dollar. Now it costs twelve thousand dollars plus just for one. That is incredible. It certainly has increased its value. With it goes without saying. To put it in perspective, in 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 dollar sense here, the value of the dollar over the same time period has steadily decreased. And if we dig even further, one dollar is equal to 0 0.000089 Bitcoin. That is an incredible increase in value. We went from $1 being worth 20 Bitcoin to now $1 is worth less than a thousandth, less than a ten thousandth of a Bitcoin. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. The value of the dollar is plummeting. At the same time, the value of Bitcoin is skyrocketing. Now, if we compare Bitcoin to gold, that brings us to point number two. Bitcoin is a store of value. It's a store of value versus gold, and it's a store of value versus fiat currency. Now, historically, gold is, has been a great asset and it still is it's been a great asset and it's been a great store of value over time and especially in times where individuals feel threatened where there's war where there's there's famine um, where there's uh, political uncertainty where there's economic insecure insecurity economic uncertainty People flock to gold. They want to protect their value. They want to protect their assets. They want to protect their wealth. So they put it all into gold. And slowly, but surely, over time, gold increases in value. And it has for hundreds of years, for centuries, for millennia. This is proven. However, if we compare gold now to Bitcoin now, we see that there's really no comparison. Around the same time period, around 2011 or so, if you wanted to buy one ounce of gold, you would have to spend over 600, about 650 Bitcoin to buy one ounce of gold. One measly ounce you'd have to spend hundreds of Bitcoin. Today, 
you would have to spend less than one tenth, less than one tenth of a Bitcoin will buy you an ounce of gold today. And that's considering the fact that gold is actually rising right now. Gold looks like it's beginning a, a, a bull run, an uptrend. However, Bitcoin is on the ultimate bull run or uptrend. And there's simply no comparison. Bitcoin versus gold. Bitcoin versus fiat currency. It's a win for Bitcoin. It's not even a fair fight. And it's not just US dollars. It's pesos. It's euros. It's the Turkish lira. It's, it's the Chinese yuan. It's the Japanese yen. It's Zimbabwean dollars. It's Ghanaian dollars. It's everything government issued. Every single currency issued by governments is failing and falling against Bitcoin. Number three. Now this ties into the store value. Bitcoin cannot be confiscated. They can't take it away from you. If I had 100 ounces of gold and I laid my head down on my pillow at night, I would have a hard time falling asleep or at least sleeping soundly through the night because I would be worried about my 100 ounces disappearing. I would have to protect that investment. I might not want to leave the house. I might sleep with a gun in my hand to make sure that nobody comes and takes my investment away. Now individuals who have gold, who don't have tons and tons of it, they have to deal with the fact that it, there are storage fees involved. You have to pay for someone to store safely and guard your gold. Perhaps that not, that's not an option for some people. Individuals have to figure out a way to keep it safe. Some people bury it. Some people hide it in their house. Whatever the case, even if it is well hidden, there is a chance that somebody could happen upon or just outright steal your gold. However, Bitcoin doesn't work like that. The only way that an individual or an entity or a group of individuals can take your Bitcoin is if you relinquish control of your private keys. If you own your private keys and keep them secret, there is no way for anyone to steal your Bitcoin. You could have one Bitcoin, you could have 100 Bitcoin, you could have 1,000, 10,000, or 100,000 or more. You could have as many Bitcoin as you want. And if you control the private keys, if you don't let anyone know what your private keys are, then you keep it safe. It doesn't matter what thing or what crime you're suspected of. The government cannot take it because they can't get their hands on it. Because you, if you do a good job of keeping those keys safe, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Unless they coerce you somehow into giving up those private keys. There's nothing that they can do. The government can't take it from you. A thief can't take it from you. The next point is that Bitcoin is scarce. It is incredibly scarce. Did you know that there are only 21 million Bitcoin that could ever be created? Built into the code is that the maximum supply will be 21 million. There are about 17 million that have been create quote unquote created so far and we won't go into that process 
And there's also 4 million that have been estimated to have been lost due to the loss of the hard drive that they were stored on or perhaps an individual died taking the private keys to their grave perhaps or perhaps just forgotten about. Individuals forget their private keys and lose their private keys. If you do that, you lose your Bitcoin. We see this happen in collectibles and, and fine art where there are limited supply of things and that, that limited supply becomes depleted even further because of loss or, or damage. The same thing with Bitcoin. It increases its value. If you have a rare stamp, it's rare for a reason. There's only so many of them. And the ones that have been created, especially at the time of their creation, they weren't regarded as priceless or, or, or extremely valuable. So individuals didn't take so much good care of them. Individuals would lose them. If you're into baseball cards, there are not many Babe Ruth cards or, or, or signatures on, on a baseball. There's not many Honus Wagners out there. And if you happen to have one, you have a very, very, very valuable item. The reason why there's not many left is because many of them were damaged or, or stolen or forgotten about tucked away in an attic somewhere and nobody even knows that they're there. This happens and this only produces more value. The same thing with Bitcoin. Now over the next several years, we're going to witness the increase in popularity. We're going to witness more and more individuals and, and media outlets talking about the value of Bitcoin is about to get insane. Some say that it is a very, very smart thing to invest in Bitcoin. There will come a day where, in my opinion, that Bitcoin is worth $100,000, $1 million, and beyond. It is extremely scarce. It's so scarce that not even every single millionaire on earth could own one whole Bitcoin. That means if you own one Bitcoin today, you are already one of the 21 million people that could even possibly own one that puts you in the 1% of the entire planet we're moving fast toward 8 billion people on planet earth which means that there's only enough bitcoin for each person on the planet to own 0 0.0028 Bitcoin. There's not enough to go around. What happens when there's not enough of something that people really want? Well, it increases in value. That's what happens. I sure hope that you consider these five reasons. And these are only five. There's many, many more reasons that we could discuss. But for the sake of this video, and as always, be smart, be safe, peace and love. Mm -hmm.